So if you're suffering from lateral elbow pain, what you want to do is try to treat the area yourself. Uh, ice, over-the-counter anti-inflammatories are good for short-term um, treatment before you're able to see your doctor. Uh, steroid injections can be an option, but again, all that does is, is reduce the inflammation. It doesn't actually help heal the structures in the body that led to the development of the lateral epicondylitis. Rest can be an important part of, uh, of treatment because again, this happened because we overused the area and we got micro tears in the muscle. So rest is important, uh, but that rest can take several weeks. We can speed that process up by using things like prolotherapy and platelet rich plasma, uh, along with acupuncture and osteopathic manipulation. Typically what causes this is inflammation and strain in the tendons, uh, which is where the muscle attaches to bone, on the outside of the elbow. Typically this condition develops because of overuse of the muscles in that part of the arm. So tennis players are prone to this, as are golfers, but really anybody that has repetitive motion uh, in the forearm, wrist, and hand is at risk for developing this condition. Oftentimes patients report a burning or um, uh, pain on the outside of the elbow. This can be associated with a weakness in grip. Uh, the pain can get worse with grip or with uh, bending the wrist uh, and, and with repetitive work. So uh, florists or someone who frequently works with their hands, uh, doing drywall, gardening, all of these kind of repetitive tasks can really stress these muscles. As the muscles become stressed, what happens is they start to pull at the insertion to the bone. As that pulls, we start to get inflammation, we get micro tearing in the tendons and in the muscle, and this leads to chronic inflammation. The question is, how do we get rid of it? Typically, in modern medicine, we use rest, we use ice, anti-inflammatories, and at times steroid injections. But the challenge is, is, does this really fix the problem? And I would argue that it doesn't. Typically, what's needed is stabilization of the bones of the elbow, and sometimes the wrist, along with different techniques to help the muscle and tendon heal. Because as we mentioned, this is caused by small tears, micro trauma, and what we need to do is to get that tendon and muscle to heal. The challenge with that is that by design, tendons and muscles don't necessarily have the best blood flow. And blood is what we need to flow into the area to break down the damaged tissue and to help the body lay down new tissue. One great technique that we can use is called prolotherapy. Basically, we go in with a small needle and we inject dextrose, which is a sugar solution, uh, into the tissues and this causes inflammation. You may say, well, wait a minute, I already have inflammation. Yes, but the inflammation isn't the inflammatory response that we need to heal the tissue because inflammation is how our body heals when it's injured. And so what we need is we need the right kind of inflammation in the right place so the body can heal. What we do is we put this medicine directly into the damaged tissues. It activates that fresh immune response and the body comes in, starts to break down those tissues and that stimulates the repair of new tissues. Another similar injection but much more effective is platelet-rich plasma. We know that these platelets cause what we call neovascularization, which means they actually help new blood vessels develop. So we increase the blood flow to the area and the body comes in and actually starts to heal that attachment between the muscle and the bone. We also sometimes can put a brace on the elbow. You might see these, these counter braces that um, they look like a strap that goes around the forearm. That's good to use after the injections, but that's also a really good at-home remedy uh, if you are suffering from this lateral elbow pain. There's also many stretching uh, exercises that you can do. We'll include some of those stretches uh, in the article that's associated with this video. I invite you to check those out. Some patients, when they're actively in pain before we can start treatment, may get benefit from a short-term uh, use of anti-inflammatories like Advil uh, and also from using ice. I will caution you, however, that remember we don't want to suppress inflammation too much because inflammation is how our body heals when it's injured. So we do need some inflammation, but then we get inflammation that's overdone and isn't productive anymore. We get this, like in this tennis elbow, where we have these, this micro trauma that over time, it just, it, it's like a little fire that starts and smolders. We don't have a big enough fire to, uh, to do anything, 
but it is still hot and burning and annoying. Both osteopathic manipulation and acupuncture can be great adjunctive treatments to lateral epicondylitis. Oftentimes we do get trigger points in the muscles, which are tender areas in the muscles where it's not working right. And so osteopathic manipulation can help work on that alignment. It can help uh, decrease the pain generators in the muscles. Uh, that also increases the blood flow and it calms down the nerves. With acupuncture, small tiny needles are inserted. This increases blood flow to the area. It helps calm down the nerves and it also releases the body's own natural painkillers, which help to reduce the pain uh, and inflammation in the area. So rather than covering it up with steroids, what we're doing is we are actually augmenting the body's own healing response to help stabilize the elbow and to heal the tears in the tendons and the soft tissue.